morning good morning we just uh, we're going to spend some time to pray and share you see this um, legacy thing we're doing is such a big deal such a big deal such a big deal because i i had quite an experience yesterday reading an article but beyond that i stumbled on another family again yesterday and just the impact of it like god is just writing on the world and just calling our attention to to it and i pray the lord god will help us in jesus name amen um again the word what's in it we're going to continue briefly this morning and pray um i don't know if i want to read a part of the seven i want to read revelation chapter five Revelations chapter five. We're going to see a few things and we're going to pray them. We're going to pray them this morning. Revelations chapter five. Um, from verse, I think, let me see. Revelations five, nine. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Is there somebody, one person though, the first person that has a testimony I was, and saying, I can't wait till Thursday. To share my testimony. Anybody that want that has a testimony that's pressing on your heart and you want to share it this morning. Just keeps coming up in my reader. Okay. Give us none. We'll move on. Revelation 5. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. All right. I'm so sorry for sniffing. Revelation 5, verse 9 says that um and they sang a new song saying thou art worthy to take the book and open the seals therefore for thou was slain and has redeemed also god by the blood and behold i i am behold and i beheld and i heard the voice of many angels around about the throne and the right about the throne and the beast and the elders and the beast and the elders. Thank you, Jesus. And we'll go to verse um, 13. Revelations 5. Th- uh, Revelations 5. Oh, let me just keep reading. Um, Verse, sorry, forgive me. Verse 12. And I had every creature in heaven and earth, and in the earth and in the sea, they sang. Blessed. No, no, no. Sorry. But verse 11. Then I looked again. And I heard the voice of thousands and millions of angels around the throne and of the living beings and the elders. And they sang in a mighty chorus. What is the lamb who was slaughtered? Now, I want you to count or pay attention to what I'm about to read. Um, what is in it? The power of the communion, the power of this legacy of the communion. You know, there's so much to teach about the communion, but I want to go into what is in it. So you understand what you have access to that maybe you're not accessing. And it said that um, Revelation 5, Verse 12, and they sang in the mighty chorus, what is the lamb was slaughtered? To receive power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and blessing. And blessing. And blessing. Power. Who are they talking about? Christ. And you know that Christ is not receiving all of these things for himself, it's for us. What is in it for us? Power. Power power he did not need power he received it for us he has been the almighty those power is available by the blood you don't have to be a weakling anymore he received riches after the passover blood pharaoh surrendered surrend, surrendered power then gave israel favor and dispelled the egyptians that is the israelites that is, the Israelites were decked with riches. When Christ died, he repeated the same Passover episode by his blood. Power was delivered to us, which is a force, our enemy, which forces, which is a force of our enemy to surrender, Psalm 66, verse 2. By the blood, therefore, all our enemies surrendered automatically. Now, concerning Israel in Exodus, after the blood, after the blood made their enemies to surrender, favor gave them riches. I'm going to take that again. What is in it? We have received power. We know that God didn't receive this power for, for himself. He was the almighty already. The next thing he received, I'm reading this from a, the blood triumph of Bishop Oedipo. That's he received power. The next thing he received, riches. You know, when I was when I read this book a while ago, I'm like, wow. 
is so powerful. Riches and truthfully, the power of it's in your DNA that when you, when the Lord dispossesses or when the Lord, you know, when you come out victorious, one of the things that you come out with is riches, favor. By favor, you, you have access to riches, all right? By favor. It was after the blood covenant um, that Pharaoh allowed them to go, but they didn't go empty-handed. And that's why I'm saying to you, in fact, let me read something to you that will blow your mind. You know, when I was talking about God is faithful to covenant over generations, there was a, God said to, was it Abraham or Isaac that, you see, your descendants will come out with wealth. I want to see the exact scripture and, and, and show you what I'm talking about. So when eventually the blood, when it happened in Exodus, that is God being faithful after 400 years, God was able to still keep his promise. Keep his promise. I'm looking for the scripture. Please hold on. In Genesis 15, he told them about how they will be enslaved and they will come out and the Lord will save them. All right. Genesis chapter 26, Isaac was talking, um, Isaac, the Lord said to Isaac about, do not go to that land. I leave here as a foreigner and I will be with you and bless you. And he confirmed that he will give this land to his descendants. Genesis 26, you see, it was, um, Genesis 26 was when Isaac also, I think Jacob had a dream and as he saw the stairs. And he said, and the Lord introduced himself. I am the Lord, the God of your grandfather, the God of your father, Isaac. You see, when the Lord appeared to them, he didn't just say, my name is God. I'm here to talk to you. He was always riding on something. He was always riding on covenant. He was always riding. And I'm going all this way because when we're praying, I want you to understand that even if you're not from a, if you don't know what covenant existed, remember Jeremiah 1, you can pull down and by the grace of God, build up. Genesis 28 from verse 13, at the top of the stairway stood the Lord and said, I am the Lord, the God of your grandfather, Abraham, the God of your father, Isaac. The ground you are lying on belongs to me. I'm giving it to you and your descendants. Your descendants will be as numerous as the dust of the earth. They will spread out in all directions to the, to the west and to the east and to the north and the south. And all the families of the earth will be blessed through you and your descendants. And that's what's happening right now. By spiritual heritage, our connection to, to the seed of David, that's Christ Jesus. We All the nations of the earth are blessed by this family. What's more, I am with you. I'll protect you everywhere you go. One day, I'll bring you back to this land. I will not leave you nor forsake you. And it went on and on that way. There was a part in scripture where God said to them that, you see, I'm going to give them the wealth. Why am I saying this? When the blood covenant was enacted, that prophecy came to pass. In the book of Exodus, when they were coming out, when they when when the Lord told them to put the blood on the door on, on the doorpost, and when the angel of death, the Bible says, after the Lord delivered them by the by the power of His might, the Israelites said, "What they 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 they, they what's that English word? They stripped the Egyptians. They were left with spoils of war. I don't know who I'm talking to." You are not permitted to live without favor and blessings. I don't know what it is that you're living. I'm telling you that it's part of your DNA that you see, you, you find favor in strange places. After every deliverance, you don't just get delivered from that thing. You live with much more. After every deliverance, you live with, 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 with wealth, with riches, with a new mindset. You live with an anointing to break through for other people. I don't know what I'm speaking to right now this morning. I feel so much power on that, but I'm going to go on to wisdom. I'll come back to this. So we're saying, what is in it? I told you two days ago, I heard the word, what is in it? And I was joking that I heard it in the kitchen. I, and I said I had a little bit. It was not because I was praying. I was actually trying to get food. And I heard, what is in it? And I started asking the Lord. And it reminded me to go and bring out this note I made about the seven seals of blessing. Seven seals of blessing that we have access through the blood of Jesus is one, the power. Two, you receive riches. Three, you receive wisdom. Wisdom. Then came wisdom. Wisdom showed them the way to go. After they left Egypt, Pharaoh pursued them. Face to face with the Red Sea, God's wisdom, wisdom came to show them how to cross the sea without a bridge. By the blood, by the blood, the wisdom of God is available for us in every conflict of life. Remember, wisdom is 
profitable to direct. One of the things you have in this covenant, one of the things you have in your own spiritual lineage and DNA, one of the things you carry as your legacy is wisdom. You carry power. I hope somebody's catching this. You carry power. You carry riches. You carry wisdom. How did we have access to this? It's through the bloodline of Jesus. The bloodline of Jesus has given us access to these things. I am not just connected to my physical father. I am connected to Christ. What is in this bloodline covenant are some of the things I'm reading. Power. Paul said, I do not come to you in enticing words of human knowledge and wisdom. I come with you in power. Riches. So when he said that, for your sake, it became poor that you may be rich. It is a reality. Hmm. And then wisdom to solve difficult things. You know, I was, I was saying, I, I was thinking about it this, this morning. Ah, my God. And it just hit me again. You see, a lot of people are stuck in life because of what you don't know what they have. I don't know if it was a dream I had, but I remember I heard this waking up. Tell them what they have. Some of us don't know. We don't know what we have. So what's happening is you are looking for what you have. It's like you have a key. Or you have keys in your hand to open a door, but you don't know you have it. And then you're going about looking for it. Wisdom solves difficult problems. Wisdom makes this what the Lord gave them a wisdom on how to cross a sea without a bridge. He told him, stretch forth your rod. Is it possible there's a rod in your hand that you have that you can stretch forth over what it is that is looking like impossibility? Is it possible that what you need is wisdom to tell you, whether it's to fast more, to eat, or to go forward, to who to call, do it this way. Wisdom, somebody. And guess what? It's part of the spirit of God, the spirit of wisdom. Hmm. I tell people, as I say in this declaration, clarity is my inheritance. Clarity is part of my inheritance. To know what to do per time. The, the mandate, the, the legacy of the sons of Issachar it's not, just, it's not just to them anymore. Why? Through the bloodline of Christ, I have access to these things. He received for us strength. Strength like that of, an, that of an unicorn was the portion of the children of Israel as they journeyed through the wilderness to Canaan. Canaan. None among their tribe was feeble. By the blood of Jesus, we can put an end to weaknesses in our body. If the blood has such powerful effect in the Old Testament, now imagine its effect today. If the shadow was so powerful, imagine the reality of the covenant. You do not need to spend your money to tame sicknesses anymore. The blood is the answer. The blood is able to give you an instant on the spot deliverance from every form of sicknesses, diseases, or weaknesses. You know, I started declaring it over myself. The Bible says that the eyes of, is it the eyes of Moses what did not deem. So I, I have 2020 vision till I transition. You can pray. I've loved, I have the, 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 the strength. And it's funny, this morning I was praying. I was praying because I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to pray myself before Sunday. I was praying because the things I read yesterday, I said, guys, we're joking about this legacy thing. It's as if we don't get it yet. Ah, Lord, thank you for your revelation. I'm going to sit on this till it's a lot. And all of a sudden, I move from a place of just praying for conception. And for those of you that listen to me, and still trusting God for children, you need to begin to, you are afraid for the conception. You begin to thank the Lord. You've done all you need to do. You've gone to the hospital, whether you're going to do IVF, whether you're going to do MIU or whatever it's called, whether it's going to be natural, you must understand that all of these things are still supernatural because whether you do IVF or not, it's still God that gives the baby, right? It's just about following what God wants you to do and just moving with God, right? So whether it's whatever God is asking you to do, whatever it is, you must move to that point where you begin to see your children because if you have received your children, anyone that has children that's giving birth to their children, they're not praying for conception of their children. They're praying for the children. And you have to start praying for the children. I remember in 2017, the Lord, I just wrote, the Lord just inspired me and I wrote about my kids. And it was reminding me this morning to go and bring out that journal. So I've prayed it over them. So I have it in my mind when I, their personality, I, I, it's just funny, you know, but this morning, the Lord reminded me to be even more conscious praying those things he gave me in 2017. And as I prayed, this prayer came out of me. Lord, I thank you for my children. I, I call them by name. I thank you for F and F. I thank you because they have the strength and the tenacity of the ancient one. I don't know where it came from. They have the strength and the tenacity of the ancient one, of God himself, the ancient one who is never tired. Now, guess what? He says that what is in it is supernatural strength. So you can live through a war. 
You can break through the walls. You can leap over a wall. You can do what God has called. You need strength. Guys, you need strength. I started praying for mental strength for them. My children don't deal. They don't deal with anxiety. They don't deal with depression. We, I solve it in this generation. In this lineage, I solve it right now. I solve sp- sp- um, mental capacity for my children to be able to think through things. I solve it right now. We, I inject it into their lineage. One of the articles, well, the article I was reading yesterday, I mean, five generations, they look over five generations. Huh? A man that died in the 80s, the boy, one very, as in, so I'm, if I pray for that guy, the boy is repeating the same pattern in 2022. And we think that patterns and bloodline. So, and my point is, if I understand that how effective bloodline is, I don't need to worry about what, where it's coming from. Because now I'm in Christ Jesus and by the blood of Jesus, I can put an end to where it's coming from and start a new one. Is somebody listening to me? And enact a new one. And as I'm talking about this now, we are connected to the bloodline of Jesus. So I started praying for them. Strength. Strength. My children have, because if one of the greatest battles, which was what Chris Valentin was saying, one of the greatest battles the enemy is fighting this generation over is distraction. The weapon of the enemy to limit a generation is distraction. So when Brother Falu was praying against the distraction of social media, I get what he's saying. And one of the ways is social media, not just social media, but one of the ways is social media. Like, so I can solve it. The issue of focus, I put, I impute and plant the seed of focus, like laser focus in my generation and lineage. I don't need them. It's not about a function of the generation they're born into. It's a function of where they're coming from. My God. Did somebody catch that? It's not a function of the generation a child is just born into. It's not just a function of the, of the, of the state of the generation my seed is born into. It is a function of what is in the lineage of my seed. It is not a function of the state. It doesn't matter that the, 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 the people, there's a lot of battle about sexuality or social media. It's a function of the lineage that child is coming from. My God, it is not a function that the fact that Jesus was born into a season or a, an atmosphere of spiritual decadence. Uh, uh, it was born into, into a time where there was pollution with the Pharisees, the Sadducees and all the seas. It, 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 was, it was not a function of that. It was a function of the lineage was coming from. The lineage of the most high. It was coming to purify. It was so focused on his assignment that the Pharisees could not hold him down. Allah could not hold him down. The devil could not trick him to perform before time. To, because he didn't even perform as well. The devil could not trick him into performing as against becoming. As against being who he has, God has called him to be. I'll say that again. The devil could not even trick him like he did the first Adam to make him think he's not what he is. It's not a function of that. Glory to God. He received for us honor. When the children of Israel journeyed through the wilderness, God gave them honor all the way. They did not need to beg anyone for anything. They were supernatural provided for. They ate manna that did not prepare, did not prepare for them. When they needed water, it came out and rock. It came out of the rock for them. God gave them honor. So God, we have honor. God, you receive glory. You have been justified by the blood of Jesus to live the glorious life. As those spies appear to Rahab, he testified, for we have heard. Joshua 2.10. Hmm. We have heard because he has received for you honor and glory. No one can despise or reject you anymore. People will begin to see the good hand of, of your God upon you. The price is paid for your liberty and this price guarantees a glorious life. Look at the blood as a price for that glorious life. So whatever is not glorious in your life, you can challenge it with the blood and the, the blood, the receipt of your purchase. 1 Corinthians 6.20, you have been bought with a price. The blood of Jesus, therefore glorify, the blood of Jesus, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. See that? 1 Corinthians 6.20, you can even pray that over your body. Therefore, there is no attack of the devil that can cross the bloodline. Whatever does not carry the aroma of God in your life, in your life challenge it with the blood. Is somebody with me? Challenge it with the blood. He received blessings. Who then can curse whom God has blessed? These are the manifold redemptive value of the blood. It was slain to receive this sevenfold blessing for us, to restore us to all that was lost in Adam. The blood is our resident permit 
in Eden. The blood is your resident permit. So what are the things we're praying for this morning? You are saying, Lord, I receive a revelation and I walk in the reality of the power you receive for me, of power, of riches, of wisdom, of strength, of honor, of glory, and of blessings. So it doesn't matter who is conjoined in contention over your, ne- over your name, over your life. It doesn't matter who is upset. It doesn't matter who is murmuring. It doesn't matter what is happening. The question and the word, the thing, reality is this. The reality is this. He has received glory, honor, power, wisdom, riches, um, blessings, honor for us. Strength, he has received it for us. The bloodlines my president permits. I want us to open our mouth this morning. I'm saying, what is in it for us? What is in this bloodline of Jesus? What is in this bloodline? And you know, what we are looking at is the shadow. If you look at Exodus, just read that the the Exodus where he was talking about how they were coming out of Egypt. Let me let me let me let me read something to you. Maybe that will help us understand. So whatever is holding you back, you must, we are enacting this covenant this morning. We are enacting this covenant this morning. Glory to God. Oh, Shalaba Suketi. You see, the enemy might imitate the, what God is doing in your life, but he can't, he can't sustain it for long. He can try to make it look like it's nothing because he must understand that even the Egyptians tried to do the other plagues. But he got to a place that they could not, they could not try it. Exodus 11, the death of Egypt's firstborn son. Exodus 12, God told them what to do. They called them, please come and go. Come and leave. Now, if the blood of a bull and animal can do that, ah, my God, how much more the blood of Jesus? If the blood of a bull can, that Egypt Pharaoh could say, yeah, just leave. If the blood of a bull could wipe out, how much? And that is what I'm standing on. In fact, the Lord, I just saw I marked it in my Bible, made me to go back and read that concerning praying for Nigeria. And that is why even as we pray, we must inculcate the habits of taking communion for our, our nation and pleading the blood. Have you seen what's going on right now? These people, these demonic forces are trying to really make this a tribal war. I've not heard of it in, in what? That some people are saying some people cannot campaign here. The same people, another group is saying they cannot campaign here. Who, 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 who is the owner of the states? And that's where you come in as an intercessor. Step into your bloodline and declare and legislate what is going to happen. But we're going to start by praying for ourselves and our family and our lineage. Can you erect honor? Can you enact power, wisdom, riches, strength, honor, glory, blessings over your family and your lineage? Open your mouth and begin to pray this morning. Father, Lord, we thank you for what your blood has done. In the Laba Sukataya. You can omit your mic where you guys don't noisy. And let's begin to p- declare these things in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, Maladaba Koshadaba. I thank you for what your blood has made available. So therefore, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because I walk in the in the reality of the power of the blood that is available in my bloodline. A, I am not defeated because of what your power has done. I walk in the realms, oh God. Ah, do I have people praying this morning? You can unmute your mic and begin to pray. I receive riches. You became people that I may be rich. So therefore, that is my inheritance. You receive wisdom. Wisdom is my portion. I receive strength. You receive strength to get up against every addiction, every, every, every depression, every, everything that is not the Lord. You receive strength to get up. You receive strength to walk through life, through a war, dominate and take over the things the Lord has committed. You receive strength. You receive honor in the name. 
hear of the things the Lord has done. We do not beg anyone. The favor of the Lord is upon you. You receive God's glory. the glory of the Lord shall be there. Oh, you are, cannot be rejected. Somebody honor for over your seat. I carry the corruptible seed of the most high. Let them be over my nation in the name of Jesus I am anointed by the most high God as a possessor and a watchman over Nigeria and I said Nigeria your days of glory is now Nigeria receives strength Nigeria receives honor power Nigeria receives glory Nigeria receives Nigeria receives riches Nigeria receives blessings of Jesus Nigeria belongs to the Lord evil weapon from against Nigeria will stand everyone that rise against Nigeria in judgment shall be condemned. We are in the season of the spirit of the prophecy over Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray. I just heard the Lord say that it's time, time up for everything that has cost you shame. Can we open our mouth and begin to pray? Double honor. Everything that has cost you shame, wherever you are. If you can unmute your mic, unmute it and say, I will not be put to shame. Name. I just want to declare this over us. I don't know why I feel this very strongly. Mm. Father Lord, I thank you. Because when you want to bless us, the first thing you bring is a revelation. So Lord, anyone that's been experiencing, um, has been going through a season of being forgotten. It seems that you're being forgotten. Lord, I say today, you are remembered for good. You are remembered for good from heaven down to earth, meaning from God to man, you are remembered. The Bible says, and Jesus grew in, it grew in stature and gained favor 
in stature and wisdom and gain favor be the sight of God and man. I decree. I don't know who I'm talking to. Mm. You will return with your favor testimony. It will not be on the account of anything you have done. It will be on the account of God himself. All you did was to be ready to receive and be positioned. So if that means getting your CV ready, if that means going to check again, if that means going to check your mail again, if yes, it's God is saying, what he needs you to do is cast your net to the other side again. Cast your net to the other side. The next set of people is shame. Is shame. Please, I don't know. I'm hearing this Yoruba word. What's the meaning of agon? You can just put it in the chat box or you can just, I mean, what's the meaning of agon? I don't know what it means. Barrenness. Barrenness. Thank you, Jesus. Every barrenness. And the word I have for you is Isaiah 54. Sing, O barren. Every issue of barrenness in terms of even having big boy and being able to bring forth a child. It ends this morning in the name of Jesus. But every barrenness in your finances, every barrenness in your life, every barrenness to your work, every barrenness in the name of Jesus. I see a picture, right? I see also you see a picture right now of locust eating up your seed. I see a picture of locust in someone's business. It's like locust is creating you you are having is that is a case where a farmer needs to fumigate we clean out every issue of error it just feels like there's the devil is trying to puncture your back bag so everything you are receiving you are fixing problem is like there's a it's problem upon problem like locust we clear it out in the name of jesus that every year the locust the canker worm has eaten the lord god is restoring on our side in the name of jesus the lord god is restoring in the name of Jesus. In this season, I hear the Lord say that you need to know, somebody need to, when I'm done with prayer this morning, you need to go back and listen to this and say, I have the bloodline of Christ Jesus. So everything that is due of me, it is power, it is honor, it is wisdom, it is riches, it is strength, it is, is glory, it is blessing. Therefore, you are uncursable because you have the mark of the blessing of God. Somebody need to pray this over their children. Somebody needs to declare this in your lineage. Therefore, in in the name of Jesus, if Christ cannot be rejected, you will not be rejected. And therefore, whatever Christ went through for the name, sake of the gospel, we're ready to go through it as well. In line of what God has called you to do. Push back will not push you back. <laughs> Instead, you forge ahead in the name of Jesus. And I'm praying for strength. I feel the Lord highlighted that strength, the tenacity of heaven, the tenacity of the ancient one, that spirit where you are not able to give up, that unquenchable spirit, that ability to break through in your mind. I'm talking about mental capacity, mental strength, emotional strength, physical strength. In the name of Jesus, this dimension of strength, the Lord is releasing to us in the name of Jesus, physical strength, spiritual strength, mental strength. In the name of Jesus, Makolobo Shadaba. In the name, emotional strength, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, healthiness in your soul, in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory, honor, and adoration. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. You will return with your testimony. Before we go this morning, I felt led to share a few things for us. For a lot of people that are here and just wondering where this is going to, where, what was happening. By the grace of God, Mm -hmm. We'll return with our testimonies. Quickly, let me share this with you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Up365, we call it also beauty of God. Um, this prayer platform is one of the many expressions of Up365. On this platform, we pray. We've been praying together since 2018 however the burden to start praying for the nation you know the lord reminded me last week was 2015 i was started something called praise nigeria to victory <laughs> the story behind that is a bit funny but i'll spare you the story but i'll share it with you someday so i believe this is the beauty and it's it has this various color because there's different expressions to it and different different beauty to it our mantra is every day a fresh start. We believe that every day the Lord has lo loads us with benefits and every day we have a fresh start. Five years from now, we want to see 
um, a minimum of 1 million souls won and discipled. We want to see revival in Africa, Europe, Asia through Web Friends Pray and the Hope Org. We want to see, um, we want to see excellent creative content and shows. We want to have up for world leaders shaping culture. 1 million, 1 million, sorry, 1 million intercessors, sorry for that error, revivalists and transformational leaders in all spheres of influence will be raised. Unlimited access to life-changing courses. If you don't know, for most of the things we do here, at least till now, are free. But we like to raise people not to just have the mentality of just free and you don't know that it's costing. So you are able to partner with us. Um, Bookie, please get the partners form ready. And for those already partners, please fill the form because we're changing a couple of things. The setting instructions the Lord has given to us for our partners. And we want to do that well. Now, I came from a background where I'm like, you know what? And I feel I had to repent for depriving people of the opportunity to bless OP365, right? So we have courses already and we're recording more courses. And we're going to throw a form on the Mighty Network to ask, what are the courses you want us to record? right? I want to create world-class focus community, raising men to be love on legs. All right. So I want to take you back a few journey. This is the beginning. Um, this is not exactly the beginning of the beginning, but this is the year of the beginning. This was uh, what we call when friends pray in two th this is December, 2007. This is one of our meetings. That is Sam Obafemi's younger brother at the background um, where we're having something called in his presence. And I will teach about that next week about your 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 landmark your 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 blueprints that has been your spirit. I look back and I see some of the things we're doing. I've just been was into one and it started breaking out into multiple things. And as we go on, we, we, we kept on moving. We're growing. Um, I put at the corner there, and I hope this will encourage people as well because we see what we're doing today. But this is where it all started from. In fact, the beginning of the beginning was it started in my mom's shop. It started in my mom's shop. We started. We started with midnight call just call, speaking on phones with friends in the middle of the night just praying worshiping god and as i'm saying that i'm just remembering some things right now and some of you have carried a dna of what you are to do it's just that it will it will take different shape and form as you go on the faithfulness of god so i just want you to as you pray for this platform just remember and just help us thank god for how far he has brought us for over 16 years now, can we? I'm saying comparing the two. This was the, this meeting on my left. This was us as we're doing the meeting, was when we were setting up um, um, speakers and all of those things. And we're seeing the Lord take us from little beginnings to where we are today, just moving from there, consistent, being consistent in His message and His grace towards us. We're evolving now. We have different platforms, and this doesn't even capture all of it. We have the IRA, we have the OP365 app, we have the Re Intercession and Revival Academy, which hosts the prayers that we do every day. We have the She Is, we have the Dear Joseph, and many other things. We launched the app in February, that now we have over 400 subscribers. We want to be as active as possible. We're still you know building test running releasing launching a couple of things that we're doing we have courses there i see that not everybody has been able to go there people ask, some people have questions about prayer i tell them they have they are there are things on the on the app that can help you answer some of those questions when friends pray events we've done over 150 when friends pray in fact the last i checked was almost 18 200 if not more I think we've done over that we have eight watches every day. We have anointed ministers. I tell people, if you're not joining some of the other, and your free time, maybe you just need someone to pray with you. Those watches are powerful. The 9 a.m., the 12 p.m., the 3 p.m., the 6 p.m., the 9 p.m., the um, 12 midnight, 3 a.m., and we're back again. We have free transformational courses and content. We have a very strong and healthy community. I bless the Lord for these people. We have an anointed prophetic team who serve and bless people at When Friends Pray, our global ministry sessions where people can just come on, on the call and they just bless people. We have our daily teachings, weekly, weekly activations. We're raising and equipping intercessors and releasing them into all spheres of influence. Now you know you're not just a businesswoman, you're not just a politician, you're not just a mom, you're not just a dad. And that's what we're doing here. And we've been teaching every day um, since January last year. We had the call since 2018, but this teaching aspect of the 6 a.m. was added last year. KS KSR, we partner with mission bodies, we pay school fees, we sow seeds to ministers and ministries on a monthly basis. Join us to make more, to take more territories. And that's where we're going. By the grace of God, we want to launch, we want to relaunch the OP line. That's a call center where people can call in and have conversations with 
counselors and all. We started the process to release, release, relaunch in June, but realized that we want to employ, um, we need more structure. And then we're going to have qualified counselors and also have volunteers work with us and people work part-time as well. Um, so what are the options in helping us cover more ground? You can serve and volunteer. You have people that join the, oh, people Jesus. lead prayers every morning. Those are different people volunteering. And I tr- we train them every Thursday as well. You can give in kind, in kind and your expertise. You can be financial partners. You can give towards our kingdom service responsibility. I need people that want to say, you know what, I want to give towards school fees. Um, right now, we've covered, we cover every term, we cover all, over 15, about 15 children um, between January and now. We want to do more. Um, September is around the corner. And um, when you fill the form, you get more details. It's just covered. Um, we have specified givings. People that want to say, God, I want to give towards your salaries. We, as of now, we have five five to six staff, full staff, right? We have five, right? Am I getting it right? Yes. We have five full staff and we have volunteers but we need to expand for instance the upline we want to bring in a professional um to add the upline a professional counselor and human resource expert to add the upline while we whilst we work with other people that can grow into it and all of that we want to bring in our um we're starting the praise and worship watch 12 p.m in september they've started praying towards it and we would like to employ our full-time um they can be part-time as well because it's shifting time instrumentalist. I want, we're looking for volunteers as well. Want to at least want to start with two missionary intercessors. That's what we call them. That will be committed to it. So it's not as if today they'll be worshiped today. Next tomorrow they'll not be worshiped to do that. Yes. We're going to work with volunteers. We thank God for our volunteers. They're very committed, but we also want to work with at least two full-time missionary intercessors that are either one instrumentalist and a vocalist or both so that we can be able to cover the ground like i said to you the vision is to have a 24 hours um prayer and worship ministry that's the ira anyways minus the courses and we're going there gradually with the eight watch together we can do more we believe by god's grace you can join the app get access to all of these things i believe i said to people we are in we're a mission field it's just that we are not just we are really heavy on the digital space. We are missionaries, actually, because of what we do. Um, upcoming event is When Friends Pray. Um, you can give towards When Friends Pray to be able to do what we do. Um, I believe so much, guys. And it's something I don't, I sometimes I'm quiet about, but we do so much. And we just believe God for his blessings. And he has always been doing it. So you can be part of what we are doing. To get more details, I'm going to put, they're going to put the link in the chat box to be a partner if you're already a partner please feel it because there's some things that we're going to be doing in the weeks to come there's some information we're going to be getting so we don't have to always come and just put it out there and all but above all you can also say a word of prayer for us to do what we do so i felt led by god to share that this morning so that people can have an understanding of what we do where we are coming from there are different aspects to it there's so many things we're doing ministering to people praying for people, blessing and all of that. You know, um, this is the partners form you can join. Uh, put the Mighty Network form as well. We don't do, um, the only telegram that we're going to have from the 22nd, as after when friends pray, is for the states. We're going to be doing the activation tomorrow. So you come around tomorrow. It's for the states um, because we're praying for past states from September. Like we have something, we have Project 23. We have going to have prayer tracks that are going to be spread across Nigeria by the grace of God. So that's one of the things we need funds. We need people, we need human resource to cover ground. Um, we're going to be reminding people why to pray for the nation, how to pray. So people are not praying amiss. It's going to be online. It's going to be in a minimum of three languages, Igbo, outside Yoruba. So if you're really good in transcribing, please also indicate there. Um, please put the mighty network. So we have the mighty network where you can be part of what we do. That's our own social media. Uh, we're start, we just started recently. We're going to be doing much more there. We're revamping a couple of things. That's where you have courses. We're going to be having exclusive um, one-on-one meetings. Myself, some fathers of faith. But you have to have access because you're on the app. By the grace of God, we have spheres. We have the economy sphere, the ministry sphere. We've not really launched the sphere fully apart from the economy sphere economy sphere and the parenting sphere the educational sphere um we've done launch them 
on a larger scale because we're still, you know, building. We need human resource, time, capital to do all of that. But the economies first started when they put job openings, do a lot of things. What I'm trying to say is that beyond doing this in the morning, we have so much that you can be part of, so much that you can you can access. All right. I tell people you don't have to be overwhelmed. Just do what you can. If all you can do is give financially and still join, fantastic. If you can serve, but be sure that you're not spread thin. If you're serving in church and you can serve, you're fantastic. If yours is just your church, fantastic. Know your primary place of assignments. If, if yours is that I can do this, I can do my church and other ministry I'm doing, that's fine. But know your primary place of assignment. Why am I saying that? So you're not spread thin. And if all you can do is just join the prayers, join and you're not doing anything, it's, fun. it's fine, I believe. But at least you can pray. You can pray. You can pray for the team. You can pray for us. You can be part of what we're doing. You can share, um, like for instance, when friends we fly, you can share it across board, and the Lord will help us. Every Saturday is our activation. We saw what happened last week Saturday. We we do prophetic training. We do activations. I'm looking forward to what we're going to do tomorrow. It's really exciting. All right. Um. Again, the idea for us is to raise a minimum of a million in the next five years. A minimum of a million in the next five years a minimum of a million intercessors and revivalists across board in the next five years. That is where we are going by the grace of God. Um, want to also disciple souls in the next five years. And we pray that by God's grace, we are able to do all of this with, with people, God raising more people that would, you know, um, partner, pray with us and be part of what we're doing. Amen. All right. Thank you so much for this morning. Um. Oh, is restricting the partners form. Bookie, please check that. Check that for those I want to give to wear friends, but that's the details as well. Bookie, please check that before we go. Thank you so much. I'm going to pray for us again this morning. Before finally, finally. Okay, it's working. Oh, it's working. All right, please check it again. Ma, please check it again. I dear Father, Lord, I thank you for everyone connected to this platform. I thank you for what you're doing. You know, sometimes I hear testimonies and I'm completely in awe because this is your doing. The fact that we can even be here consistently for four years plus is your doing. The fact that you have kept when friends pray for 16 years, it's your do doing. For, for 15 years. The fact that you kept up 365 for 16 years is your doing. And Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. And we receive strength for the days to come. Lord, our five years goal, as you've inspired our hearts, is to reach a minimum of a million people. A million people with access to, to courses, to training, to disciple with people, and to birth your agenda here on earth. Father, for some that will be here short term, some that will be here mid term, for some that will be here for a long term, Lord, give us grace to be part of this, to be a blessing, and also to translate everything we have learned. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you all. Thank you so much. Yes, it's the same account as giving for when friends pray. We're looking forward to it. Ensuring that we have access to everyone. Um, For those that will be joining online, we have ministry team as well that will minister to you online after the meeting and those that will minister as well. We are working on how we can get some people have reached out to me that they can't get give internationally. We're working tirelessly on that, on how you can. Um, there is a way you can give on the website, OP365. Let me get that for you. You can use your bank details to give. If you use a MasterCard or any of those cards, you can give online. We're working on that as well um, to give. If you need, if you have, you see our problems giving internationally, please reach out to us and we'll help you resolve that. Yes, we have international option, please. Kike, go and meet Trisha. <laughs> yes, we have international option to resolve that. Yes, we have paper. We have strip. Yes, ma. <laughs> we have all of it so that you can give. We have all. Please go. <laughs> yes, we have it all. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you. By the grace of God, we'll share further details with you tomorrow for those. And I apologize for those that tried to give internationally that they couldn't. All right. Thank you. Have a fantastic day. See you tomorrow.